All right, everyone. Today we're doing a coolant system drain, kind of a flush, I guess. This is a 2001-73. Sorry for the trash lighting in here, but I already added some simple green into the coolant bottle, and I drove it around for about 10-15 minutes. So I'm going to drain that, and then we will add some distilled water. You can see the buckets of distilled water I got there. My system's hot because I just came back from driving, so I'm going to take this off really slow. You can hear it degassing. So now, pull that off. Just set that over here. Now I'm going to go underneath and I'll show you where the drain plug is. Alright, so looking on the driver's side. This right here is the drain plug, and that is a 19 mil. So just grab your socket and put it on here. And then just have your drain bucket ready underneath. I got the pail there. coolant bottle or degas bottle and it has these two so right here and back here they're eight mils and then up here just remove this clip and that'll take this hose off and there's one more eight mil right under the jack here and that bottle should lift out. All right guys, I forgot there is also a hose on the bottom there, a larger one. See the spout there? So I just pulled the, the clamp down and so we'll get that out. So here's the tank. Oops. So you can see why I'm going to be cleaning it. Pretty dirty. Pretty dirty and oily. So yeah, I'll go clean this up. I'm going to be using uh, Simple Green to clean it. And I'll show you guys what it's like when I'm done cleaning it. Alright, here's the bottle after some cleaning. I tried to scrub it out with a toothbrush, but it wasn't really working out that well. See inside, it's quite a bit cleaner, but not perfect. But it is better than what it was. Um, I want to get the Sinister Diesel degas bottle anyway, so so this will do for now. Okay, bottles back in, hoses are hooked up, and I added four liters or one gallon of Simple Green, and then I topped it off with uh, some distilled water. Let's see where. Up full there, so now I'm just going to go start it, let it run for about 10-15 minutes with the heater on high, let that circulate through, I'll drain it, and then I'll fill it back up with distilled water, run that through, drain it, see, see what the color of the uh, liquid coming out is, and then we will go from there. Alright, we just had it run for about 15 minutes, it's pretty, pretty hot. See, water's right up to the, to the brim there. Yeah, we'll uh, let it cool down for a bit and then we'll come back, open that, and then we'll, should be safe by that point to open the drain valve down there. 
got the bottom drain there. I just carefully opened it. Uh, I don't have the top open yet, but let's see if I can. Show you guys the color coming out. That's all that cleaner. So yeah, we'll do another flush with just water and see if it's all sudsy like that when it's coming out. All right, I've done this about 10 times now where I've just filled it up and drained it. I've been using tap water see this is what I'm left with pretty clear I was just having a problem with uh, the water coming out it was all foamy and sudsy so I just wanted to keep doing it until it wasn't uh, all bubbly and stuff and just to make sure that I'd get all that cleaner out see so, yeah, I think I think that's good so now I'll show you guys what you need to put back in there okay so I have Four gallons of this concentrated premium antifreeze slash coolant, part number CVC5. This is just the green stuff. That's what was in here before. Uh, and then I had this diesel coolant system additive. So you can see here in the owner's manual. So you need to add one of those. That's the old part number. And so yeah, we'll add that. Then we're gonna add four of these and then we'll top the rest off with distilled water. Alright, I got it pretty full right now, so I'm just going to go grab the keys and I'm going to start it, let it run for a bit, and hopefully I'll get more water in. Alright, so there's the coolant, there's some floaties in there, but whatever, I'll just have to do this again when I get that new bottle. See, so yeah, I ended up adding three jugs of the coolant. And then I added two jugs of the distilled water. So I'm just, I took it for a drive. That's where it's at right now. And once as I let the truck sit for a while and it gets cold, I'll check it again. And then just uh, fill it up with distilled water from here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And you guys have a good day.